but you could do this with an arm like this. You could do it with an arm bar. You could be hugging the arm bar and do the same move. If somebody grabbed your neck like a collar tie, Ryan, who's your partner? Okay, like say Maria grabs Ryan in a collar tie uh, on top for whatever reason. I know that good people aren't supposed to use that grip, but he could just, just do one of these, Ryan, like this. Yeah, just like that. Now do the same sweep. But don't do an arm bar, do the sweep. You guys see it? So it could be like that. If you hate arm bars, why not get on top? You know? Not, you, might, you might say to me, uh, every time I do an arm bar, everyone stacks me and they smash and they get out. Or maybe the particular opponent you're going with is great at countering arm bars. So instead of going for the home run, where you get the, the run in one hit of the ball, why not just get that position? You know, don't go, go for the arm bar. Here's the scenario, go to the arm bar and Maria stacks and smashes. She pulls her arm out. Okay, that was cool. She passes guard. One more time, show me. Maria, run your, run your defensive system. You have curriculum. Oh, shoot, and she get, okay, good. Well. She was never quite in the arm bar. That's okay. You guys gotta listen to my words. She gets caught in the arm bar. I gotta really drive this point home. She now is great at defending. Go, she pulls, gets her arm out, whatever. All right, she passes guard. Ryan goes, man, that was a mistake. I almost had her. Next time Ryan gets the guard, he says, I got a new plan for Maria. Don't even arm bar her. Just sweep her instead. And now she's down on the bottom the rest of the match or the round if it's in class. And then what happens? He ends up coming out of that role and she comes out of that role feeling like trash. He feels great. He goes on to Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> lets everyone know Maria's like, you know, Maria's, sh she's sharing the memes, the, the jujitsu memes that say like, you know, it's, it's not about whether you win or lose. It's about <laughs> like persevering through all the tough times, you know, that, cause that makes her feel better. <laughs> but you guys get what I'm saying though. You can literally change the course of the entire fight match role just by saying, I'm not going for the home run. Let me just get a little base hit, just get on base, which is like sweep them. It's even more than that. You could argue it's a double or a triple, right? Because you not only swept them, you're in the mount. It's pretty damn good. Look, that, that run you were trying to score is, is coming soon in the form of an arm triangle, not, a, not an arm bar from your guard. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Go practice. Practice if they grab your neck. Practice if uh, you have the elbow. Practice the, with the wrist. Practice all of it. Well, we're going to finish up with this. All right, guys. Oh, you're still watching? Um, yeah, so like, this is common. I could talk about, do a video on every move like this, right? That sometimes you don't need to go for the kill, you know, all the way. You, you, you're trying to go for checkmate, but you're underestimating your opponent's ability to defend um, the checkmate. So instead, just give them a slow squeeze, a little crush. You know, march your, your army forward and corral your opponent. Slowly move in. You don't always have to go for the kill. Wild, wild attacking is beautiful to see. It's exciting. The slow game is not exciting for most people, but it can be very effective. And for a lot of you guys out there, you will learn in this game that maybe you are better at the slow game, instead of trying to go for the kill all the time. Having said that, kill him. All right, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff.